Once again, the primary polls are open. They opened at 6 a.m. There's a whole lot of races on the ballot besides the governor. We're talking Secretary of State, Cook County Board President, mm -hmm. Cook County Sheriff. There's so many, a lot of judges are on the ballot that we need to know about. Yeah, and just a lot of dynamic to take into consideration. So joining us now, political analyst Stephen Caliendo. Thanks for joining us so early. Good we appreciate you. you being here on such a big day. You don't Let's, sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on an election day. It's like, right. Well, you totally. Yeah, Let's it's start like Christmas with Christmas for a political scientist. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's start with what Meredith was talking about, the race for governor. Can you talk about the last minute endorsement by President Trump or Bailey, how that could affect uh, what we see today and turn out for that race? It could make a difference. One of the things that we know about uh, the way primary voters uh, vote and, and act is that it often is the ideological extremes that come out. And for, so for the Democratic Party, more leftists, and for the Republican Party, more conservatives. And so that last minute uh, endorsement by President Trump might matter a lot. Um, uh, other people, of course, in a primary vote strategically. They're trying to find, they want to find the Republican who has the best chance of beating J.B. Pritzker. So it'll be an, an interesting to find out how folks, who, who comes out and, and what they're thinking when they, when they vote today. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Richard Irvin, but we we know, right. We'll see how things turn out once the votes, votes are actually tabulated. Yeah. Uh, a June primary in Illinois, not something that we see very often. Uh, we've been tracking the numbers. Voter turnout, the early voting turnout has been pretty low. Do you expect a surge at the polls today? I don't. I'm glad. I'm glad, though, that we're, we're talking about. You know, as long as you're in line by 7 p.m., I don't know that that's going to be an issue tonight. I think. You know, I'm really encouraging folks to get out to vote because I don't think there's going to be long lines. If you didn't vote early, if you didn't vote by mail, get to the voting booth. It's an important thing to do. But I don't expect to see high turnout today. As you said, big day for a political analyst like mm -hmm. yourself. Can you talk about any other races that we should really be looking at this morning? Big ones to watch. I'm really interested in the first congressional district. Of course, Bobby Resch was was there for some 30 years, yeah. right? And now, and, and so many. <laughs> candidates, so many Democrats. And of course, the primary today, this is a great example why primaries matter. That's going to be the election, right? I mean, there's no way a Republican's going to win the first no. congressional district. And so lots of candidates in that race, think like a dozen candidates in that race, some high profile names. And so folks in the first district should certainly get out and make their voice known because th that vote could, can very much make a difference. And that person might hold that seat for another 30 years. Well, we just talked about the surprise hearing. There's been uh, five of these House committee hearings about the January 6th insurrection from a couple of years ago. Um, now that there's going to be a six with a surprise witness and new testimony, do you think that will have any connection to candidates, GOP candidates who are backed by Donald Trump? Uh, we saw a downstate rally the other day, a lot of controversy with Mary Miller. That's an, another downstate, two incumbents facing each other with her. Misspoke, as her campaign yes. uh, a spokesperson yes. said, yes. and related to Roe v. Wade and abortion. That's right. well, what do you think about any, not backlash, or just any effect at all that will have on candidates connected to Donald Trump? It's hard to know. I mean, it doesn't seem like the folks who are backing President Trump are being moved at all. Uh, by what's happening in the January 6th hearings. And because we're at primary day and it's Republicans just voting for Republicans, Democrats just voting for Democrats, I don't know that anything that happened uh, in any of those hearings so far is going to make a difference. What will make a difference, of course, is when we get to November, if the, if the Justice Department decides to bring any charges against anybody related to it, and if the public opinion starts to sway and change among Republicans. I mean, I, th I certainly think wherever it is among Democrats, it will stay there. But a lot of Republicans are still backing the president, don't think he did anything wrong on January 6th. All right, Stephen Kelly, no, thanks for being with us this morning. We really appreciate your expertise. Well, you can stay with CBS2 for complete primary coverage.